You've got a solar generator and you're ready to power up. But then, you notice the specs. KW, KWH, and sometimes just watts. What do these numbers mean and how do they affect your power needs? Today, we're explaining the difference between kilowatts versus kilowatt hours, and how to calculate your power needs for off-grid adventures or power outages. First, let's talk about kilowatts, or KW. This number tells you the maximum power output your generator can provide at any one time. Think of kilowatts as your generator's horsepower. If you have a solar power station rated at 2 kilowatts, it can handle devices that when combined, draw up to 2000 watts. That's usually enough for a mini fridge, coffee maker, or even a microwave. Some manufacturers list this power unit in watts, not kilowatts. So a generator that's 5000 watts is the same as 5 kilowatts. It's a subtle difference in labeling that can cause some confusion. Just remember, 1 kilowatt equals 1,000 watts, so always check the unit conversion to determine what power level you're working with. Now on to kilowatt hours or KWH. This is a measure of energy storage or capacity. Essentially, how much power your generator can supply over time. Think of kilowatt hours as your generator's fuel tank. If a generator has a 2 kilowatt hour capacity, it could run a 1 kilowatt appliance for 2 hours, or a 500 watt device for four hours. The higher the kilowatt hour rating, the longer your generator will last before needing a recharge. This is crucial for situations where you need power for extended periods like overnight camping trips or during power outages at home. Let's explore a quick example to help you calculate your power needs. First, identify the wattage of each device you plan to power. This information is often found on the device itself or in the manual. For instance, if you have a 100-watt laptop, a 60-watt fan, and a 500-watt mini-fridge, add those up. In this case, you'll need a generator that can supply at least 660 watts or about 0.66 kilowatts to run all three devices at the same time. Now for capacity, if you want to run this setup for 3 hours, multiply that 660 watts by 3, you'll need 1980 watt hours, or just under 2 kilowatt hours of capacity. This calculation can help you decide if a generator meets your power needs for both output and capacity. Remember every unit will vary in its performance. Keep in mind the method of recharging you plan to use will impact how quickly you get your generator back to 100%. Understanding kilowatts, kilowatt hours, and calculating your power needs makes picking the right generator much easier. Let us know in the comments if you have questions about pairing your setup with the right generator. Be sure to subscribe for more outdoor tech, and as always, thanks for watching.